Hi guys, so I'm, well it's like talking Thursday, but I'm going to be recreating a look that was done by Miss Lolan and it was called Emerald City and I just thought it was so pretty. So today I was just, that wasn't like my intention, but today there was a sale, buy one get one half off on all cosmetics at Fred Meyer. So I went and I picked up. And if you have a friend Meyer, oh my gosh, check out the Wet n Wild singles. They got Brulee, they got Sugar, they have so many colors. So, what I got was, um, this one's new I guess, but it's called Gold Digger. And it's just a really pretty gold, has a slight shimmer in it. Not much. And then I got... Oh shoot. Oh poo. I'll have to press this pigment. Um, then I got, can you see that? And what's it called? Envy. So when you press the pigment, you just put alcohol in it and it goes right back to normal. So that's good, but I'm going to be using it in the tutorial. And then, um, from the line of the color tattoos, I got Bold Gold and Pomegranate Punk. So, super good deal, only $14 for all of these. So, oh, I've got the sniffles, so excuse me. Okay, so I'm going, I already have my foundation on, I haven't contoured or anything like that. So, let me prime my balls. got to prime the balls ladies and I'm just using the <laughs> whatever just came close to me was the Ofra uh, primer and I think I already said I like this primer because oh it just I don't know it's not greasy feeling it just kind of like I don't know it dries really quick so I like that back. I just quickly did my brows and in that time I seriously couldn't find like anything. It is so annoying like when it's right in front of your face and you can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to take um, a bold gold from Maybelline and a flat shader brush and I'm going to put this in the inner part of my lid. I'm gonna get a mirror here so you guys can, oh, can see a little bit of shimmer to it, but that is okay because so does our Gold Digger Wet n Wild eyeshadow. And I really want this to pop, so I'm kind of packing it on going into the inner corner and I'm going heck I'll just put it all over the lid just going with the flow take the gold digger and if you don't like shimmer you probably wouldn't like this but I mean it's slight shimmer I think this would look so pretty over the Lorac um, gold drops. I might do that. I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. It like matches perfect. So I'm just taking it all over the bold gold. So now I'm going to take a, um, a stiffer brush and I'm going to take the, um, what's it called? The Envy. This is just a really pretty 
forest green. It has like a satin type finish. Oh, it's so pretty. Color. And onto my crease bone. And I'm not going all the way in. And then I'm going to drag it down. Make sure you tap off the excess because you don't want any fallout if you already put your foundation on. And I always put my foundation on um, before I do my eyes. It just have it. But I think you can always clean up if there's like a ton of fallout. I don't have my contacts in so hopefully This will turn out okay. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to just blend this in. And we don't want any harsh lines. So we have this so far, and I actually think I'm going to use the gold luster drops. This will just give it a little festiveness, and you can totally skip this step, but I think it will be pretty. I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, you guys. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoy my videos. Okay. Now with a flat brush, I like to soak up the product. Place that in the inner corner. And I use two drops. And make sure you put the lid on because I've accidentally spilled my silver ones. And I was like, no! Okay, so I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild eyeliner. And if you happen to cry, this will run on you. But it has a nice thin brush, so that's cool. So I'm going to take it and just go... Make it thin in the middle. And I want it to be smoky underneath, so I'm going to be taking the uh, Smoldering L'Oreal Eyeliner. And I'm just going to connect it where the wing is. So you start like right at the side where it ends. So 
So I kind of connect it and then I'm going to go back in with the liner just so it matches. I'm going to have false lashes on so it's just going to give it more of a dramatic effect. So right where I connected, just fill it in. Okay, so I'm going to just bend, bend my lashes. Okay, so when you put the glue on, you know, oh my gosh, I just like totally squirted it everywhere. Okay, so That's when you okay. put the glue on, and you want it to be, you know, nice and tacky, don't blow on it. Because when you blow on it, it's just putting moisture back on to the glue. Same with nail polish. Don't blow on your nails because when you blow on things, you know, like your glasses or something, then you get moisture. So, that is my tip of the day. It was the worst lash experience I've ever had. I don't know, I've had this glue before, but it just squirted it everywhere. It's all over my nails. It's mm, all over my hand. My gosh. Oh, so this wet and wild is like transferring down to the bottom. So I'm thinking that I just might add black to my lower lash line. Why not? I'm putting a little bit of flip, uh, Fix Plus in my liner because it's dried out. The, my gel liner. Ooh, that moistened it right up. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. So I guess I showed you two options. You can either have a nude eye or have the black in the waterline. I don't want no goobers. go over that with a black shadow just so it stays Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to um, brighten up my under eyes and I'm going to just use my select cover up from MAC. In NW15. All right, so now I'm just gonna be putting on some blush now that I look really, really white <laughs> with this light. And I'm using just Max Margin. Using a 130 brush. Just a small stippling brush. It's great for um, foundation if you really want to take your time. It's also like really good for contouring. It's like pretty much you can do whatever you want with this brush. I like it. Okay, so now 
I'm going to add some soft and gentle to the cheekbones. Margin is a frost, but I just like extra highlight. So I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit and I'm just, I would use my NARS Laguna, but it decided to walk off. So I'm going to use the Laura Geller foundation, which is in medium, and just kind of go over my contour to set it. Those. Boop. Okay. So we can either go with a neutral lip or we can go with a red lip. And for this look, I think that... Um, what one is it? It's Viva Glam 5. Oh, it is a pretty red. It's not so stark red, but I think this will look really, really good. So, I was going to use Russian red, but I think that this will just look stunning with, with the look. It'll just kind of meld together. So I'm going to just use my Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush and then top it off with Viva Glam 5. Mwah. <laughs> so that is the look guys. Thank you so much for watching and Lola thank you for, Lola, Laura, <laughs> thank you for the inspiration because I like the look. It is quite gorgeous if I must say myself. And this tutorial was nutty, beyond nutty, like, oh, everything kept going wrong, but it turned out right. Right, baby? Okay. Well, I hope you guys have had a wonderful day, and stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!